Let's talk about the films of Rajkumar Hirani. Rajkumar Hirani is arguably the most successful Bollywood filmmaker of our times. What is it about his films that has managed to impress the mass audience and critics alike? It is the writing. Writing is the strongest element of any Rajkumar Hirani film. His films are what they are only because of writing. Without the writing, his films will totally collapse. We will try to break down his writing style in this video essay. Hirani worked solely on the writing of his first film, Munna Bhai MBBS. But since the subsequent films, the writing has been a collective effort of him and Abhijit Joshi. However, you can clearly see a lot of Hirani influence in the writing, and in the subsequent discussion, we will refer to Rajkumar Hirani while not undermining the contribution of Abhijit Joshi. Hirani likes to play it safe and does not believe in experimenting with his writing. He has developed his own style and structure and tries to stick to it as much as possible. So, what is the style and structure I am talking about? अरे कहना क्या चाहते हो? First of all, Hirani likes to churn out movies, which I personally like to term as feel-good movies. Feel-good movies are the movies which are high on sentimental values. These include happy stories, success stories, patriotic stories, stories about kindness, stories about inspiration. These kind of stories evoke a strong emotional response, and most of the people end up loving the movie. All films of Rajkumar Hirani are feel good. They have happy moments, sad moments, and a whole lot of fun-filled moments. Can I ask you something? What's going on? No. Now, how does Rajkumar Hirani write his characters? Look at the lead characters in his movies. A goon who ends up in a medical college, a free-spirited guy who ends up in a disciplinary environment, or an alien who ends up on another planet. These are oddballs who are thrown into a system they are initially oblivious about. They raise questions and through their unique perspective make people realize what's wrong with the system. जब मैंने ये सवाल पूछा, किसी ने ये सोचा कि आज कुछ नया सीखने को मिलेगा? आज अगर बापू होता ना, तो बोलता कि देश तो अपना हो गया है. लेकिन लोग पर आए हो गए कौन हिंदू कौन मुसलमान ठप्पा के दर दिखा दीज कैरेक्टर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली लाइकेबल एंड हैव अ हार्ट ऑफ गोल्ड हिरानी वांट्स द ऑडियंस टू लव देम एंड नेवर एड्स एनी शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे टू दीज कैरेक्टर्स नॉट जस्ट द ऑडियंस बट इवन अदर कैरेक्टर्स इन द फिल्म लव देम एक्सेप्ट फॉर वन कैरेक्टर द एंटीगोनिस्ट हुज मोस्टली प्लेड बाय बर्मन हिरानी Hirani likes to write a small introduction part for the antagonist in which he tries to highlight his eccentric qualities. My personal favorite is the introduction of Viru Shastra Buddhe aka Virus. Mind bachane ke liye shirt pe button nahi, velcro lagate the. Mind ko aisa train kiya tha ki dono haathon se ek saath likh sakte the. While the female characters in his movies aren't that memorable, they are headstrong and career oriented women and written to be extremely likable as well. Good morning. Now, how does Rajkumar Hirani write a scene? The primary intention of any scene in a movie is to convey some information. The information may be explicitly communicated through dialogue or through action or it can be communicated in a very subtle manner. The mass audience usually finds the subtle communication of information to be boring or ambiguous and Hirani never resorts to such writing. His scenes are very simple and straightforward and can be enjoyed and understood by people across all age groups. There's one more intention for some scenes in a movie to draw an emotional reaction. It is not necessary for every scene to do this, but Hirani makes sure that every scene will draw a strong emotional reaction from you. In his movies, you won't find the kind of scenes where two characters are just talking and you are not expected to feel anything. Every scene in a Rajkumar Hirani film will make you feel something. It will make you happy or it will make you sad. it will make you laugh or it will make you cry but every scene will draw an emotional response from you that's how people never get bored in his movies he understands the pulse of the mass audience and gives them exactly what they like simple and interesting scenes served with a lot of emotions a recurring subplot in his movies is father child conflict There's some character whose relationship with father becomes strained at some point and gets resolved by the end of the movie. The scenes are written to be very poignant and to make the audience cry. Are bas kar rulayega kya? Apart from this, he writes several small incidents throughout the movie 
which will amuse the audiences like the several incidents in munna bhai mbs where he helps the people in the hospital or the incidents in lagera munna bhai where he helps out the people over the radio or the incidents in pk where he challenges superstitious beliefs such small incidents spread throughout the movie keep the audiences entertained now this is important as much as possible hirani tries to set his scenes in public space and among a large crowd This is a great way to accentuate the emotional content of your scenes. Let's list out such scenes which happen in between crowds. The scene where Munna consoles a suicidal boy. The scenes involving ragging. The scene where Munna helps people over radio. The scene where Munna is disgraced in press conference. The induction motor scene. The long definition scene. The tapasvi vs PK scenes. And of course, the most popular one. इन्होंने निरंतर इस कॉलेज में बलात्कार पे बलात्कार किए ड्यूरिंग एडिटिंग हिरानी कैन ऐड रिएक्शन शॉट्स ऑफ पीपल इन द क्राउड एंड एनरिच द इमोशनल कंटेंट ऑफ द सीन इट्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल ट्रिक व्हेन यू सी सो मेनी पीपल लाफिंग यू फील हैप्पीयर व्हेन यू सी सो मेनी पीपल क्राइंग यू विल आल्सो एंड अप क्राइंग दिस स्माइलिंग क्राइंग फेसेस इन द क्राउड ड्रामेटिकली इंप्रूव योर सीन फॉर हिरानी a catch phrase is of utmost importance he will devise a catch phrase which will resonate with the theme of the movie jadu ki chappi jadu ki chappi bole to gandhi giri zindabad bole to gandhi giri zindabad all is well all is well all is well, well. well. ye wrong number hai ye wrong number hai wrong number hai ye now how does rajkumar hirani write a climax scene? There is one element which is absolutely critical to the climax scenes in his movies. Change of heart. The lead character wins over the antagonist not by fighting or defeating him in some battle, but by causing a change of heart. He is usually at his lowest before the start of the climax scene. Munna has lost his friend to stomach cancer. Munna is disgraced and thrown out from his radio show. Rancho and his friends are expelled from college and PK has lost his friend in a bomb blast. The lead character is at his lowest but springs back to power in the climax scene and manages to win over the antagonist with his intelligence and generosity. Like discussed earlier, these scenes are also set among a crowd. Munna delivers powerful speeches which stir the crowd around him. Bhuman Rani who plays the antagonist in both the movies has a change of heart. Rancho helps in the delivery of Munna's baby in the midst of crisis. Vyras has a change of heart and acknowledges Rancho as an extraordinary student. PK proves on television that Sarfraz had not betrayed Jaggu. Jaggu's father has a change of heart and warms up to PK and Sarfraz. A change of heart is a very powerful emotional element and Hirani's insistence on using it in every movie shouldn't come off as surprising considering our discussion on how he likes to pump up the emotional quotient of his movies. So that's it. That's the Rajkumar Hirani style of writing. His latest film Sanju more or less tried to follow the same template. Father son conflict, catch phrase, climax with a change of heart and several emotional scenes. But for a Sanjeev Dutt biopic, this is style and structure and the fun tone does not suit at all and the film came across as extremely ludicrous. However, his style has worked out very well for his other films and you have to accept it. No other filmmaker has managed to appeal to mass audience as well as the critics quite like him. Are Farhan karega teri behan se shaadi Farhan aur wo bhi free. 